everyone says that love heals everything, but mine feels broken. How do I get my oxytocin back? I get that question from time to time, and believe me, I wish it were that simple. You see, oxytocin isn't the fairy godmother of bonding. It's more like double-sided tape. It sticks to whatever you were trained to bond with, even if that thing was chaos. Here's where things get messy. Oxytocin is right here, connected to everything. And this dotted line, that's cortisol, stress chemistry influencing your attachment chemistry. So when stress runs high, oxytocin tries to bond to whatever can bring it relief even if it's the same person or pattern that caused the stress. And over here, dynorphins, the emotional painkillers, are still numbing this system and dragging oxytocin into their orbit. That's why connection can start to feel like obligation. Together, they report straight to the hippocampus your brain's memory librarian, basically filing love and fear in the same folder. So that's how I learned to be attracted to unsafe people. Yes, oxytocin's bonding code got rewritten by fear. You're bonded to control, not comfort. So when you feel some distance, Oxytocin doesn't whisper, I miss you. It panics, like, fix it before you lose them. And see this dotted arrow from the DRN, serotonin's neighborhood, to oxytocin? That's the potential for balance. When calm, consistency, and truth enter the chat, serotonin supports oxytocin in reconnecting to safety. So yes, oxytocin can relearn, but it's not about chasing connection. It's about retraining the chemistry, repairing the bond between safety and peace. Tomorrow, we'll check in with the hippocampus because while oxytocin is trying to feel safe again, the Memory Center is rewriting what safety even means.